they have added the manage broadcast here. You can set up your stream and everything right from here if you would like to do so. It doesn't have as many features as I would like to see, but you can get going right from here, hitting that manage broadcast tab. Now, if you want to do it like we have been in the past, you can hit your select broadcast, uh, select existing broadcast, but you have to have an existing broadcast first, right? What you got to do is you got to have Set up going to your studio, or actually, you don't have to go studio. You go to your go live right up here. Go live. Brings you up into your studio. Schedule stream. You have two options here. Now, you can create a new one where you set all that data information, all that stuff in there. Add your thumbnail, game title, your tags, everything, monetization, customization, visibility, everything through here to set up a whole new one. If you've already been streaming and have done a stream already, then you just can select from this drop down right here and see all the 50 million streams that you've done. Oh my gosh, this makes you think, right? Okay, so I spent too much time on here. <laughs> you can select any of the past streams that you have already done and edit those details if you like. But what I'm gonna do is I am going to set up we're just going to call this test. I'm not going to put anything else in here other than making this private because you know what? I don't want to go live. I'm showing you guys this. I don't want it to pop up on my stream. You know what I'm saying? All right. So you set your date, time, all that stuff. Uh, if you're going to schedule it out, just like you always have. If you guys need more details on setting up the basics of setting up a stream, let me know. Leave it down in the comments. I will do a whole video breaking it down step by step. I'm taking the assumption right here that you guys already been streaming and the changes with OBS, uh, Stream Elements OBS is what's really bugging you. It was bugging me until I figured all this crap out. Um, but I'm showing that right now. If you need more detail on the other ones, I will go into more detail. I'll make another video. Just let me know. All right, so we are setting this up right now. I'm going to just go ahead and schedule this out. For a lot later, even though it's private, it doesn't matter. But I, I don't want it to pop up uh, before we get into the other one. There we go. Done. All right. We'll go back into all right. So you can see all this crap, right? Okay. Now you can go into your manage broadcast. Little tip. Set up your streams for a later date. I mean, you know, set them up prior. It, it helps out. It really does lets people know you'll get more people in the beginning of your streams and stuff like that when you schedule them um, instead of just doing them right before you go live. It, it it really does help out a lot. Schedule them a couple hours early, a day early. If you do it every day, you know, try to schedule it a few hours before you're going to do it. Um, if you do it once a week, it's easy. Then make sure you just have it scheduled whenever your next stream is going to be. So we've already went through here where you can set up all your titles and all that stuff in the create new broadcast, but we are going to select existing broadcast. All right. Note to self and anybody else. If you run multiple channels and have different channels, make sure that you are logged out and signed into the channel that you are going to be looking for for your stream because I was signed into my other channel and was not popping up. So here we go. Manage broadcast. Here's where you put up your ex, uh, create new broadcast, go into select existing broadcast. And here it is. It is scheduled for Wednesday, October 13th, blah, 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 blah. You can select that, select broadcast and start streaming. You can start streaming immediately or what you could also do without even opening. You don't have YouTube open or nothing. You can go ahead and open your YouTube studio, which will pop up on a different page. But you can hit select broadcast. Boom. We selected it. And when we are ready to stream, we can hit start streaming right over here in this, this side here. So hopefully that helps you guys out. If there's anything else you need to know, you want me to go in a lot more detail, let me know in the comments below. We'll go through it really quick one more time. Manage broadcasts. You can create your broadcast right here, not even using YouTube at all, and then just open up uh, YouTube through here to get into your your uh, YouTube studio or select one that you've already made in YouTube if you're used to doing that like me. Create it first, 
schedule it out and all that stuff. When you're ready to go live, click here, select broadcast, and then you can hit start streaming when you're ready. Or when you're ready, you pop this open, select the broadcast you want, select broadcast and start streaming right down here, and it'll pop up and go live. And you can see it in your YouTube studio live broadcast channel. All right. Appreciate you guys. If you have any more questions, want me to go into more detail about anything, put it down in the comments below. Let me know how things are going for you. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you in the stream. Peace.